Hi, everybody. Floyd Simmons, the broadcast voice of the Arizona Rattlers, and I get an opportunity to sit down today and, and talk with the owner of the Arizona Rattlers. It's Ron Schertz. And, Ron, we're here because you have a, a major announcement to make about the team and what uh, Rattler Nation can expect for the upcoming 2024 season. You know, you, we do, and we're excited about it. So we're, we're getting ready to move to Glendale, to uh, Desert Diamond Arena um, in Westgate. And uh, we're excited about it and make the change. And it's going to be a great place for us. Our fans love it out there. And I, I, think, I think before I talk about that, which was what we were going to talk about, right, I want to talk about really the importance of the relationship with the Suns and the downtown arena. You know, when I bought the team back in 2011, I think they were getting 3,000 fans. Uh, per game at the time, and now we, we consistently are 10, 11, 12,000. And, and really because of the Suns' partnership with me and, and of them driving activity for us and, and keeping that building active, and obviously the Suns' brand has grown tremendously, and, and obviously the arena now is beautiful. It's one of the reasons why we've been successful. So um, this has been, it's been a special relationship for us, but you know, making the move out, out west is going to be great for us. We're pretty excited about it. Well, you get to be a part of what is really the football capital of the state now that West Valley corridor is amazing and and it provides a new level of experience for the fans the players everybody involved with the rally yeah and I, I don't know that new levels appropriate but I, I do think it's a different experience right I mean obviously you got Westgate there which is incredible right um, the Cardinals are there um, so we'll have an opportunity to partner with the Cardinals on multiple different fronts out there as well and you know right now our facilities that we currently have are way out in East Mesa uh, we're playing downtown we have an opportunity for our, our facilities to actually be out on the west side so we'll be all together there and the west side of town is the football capital if you were to describe them the all-inclusive experience you've got westgate there you've got the restaurants you've got all of the uh, amenities that a, a sports fan wants and you've got it in a nice tidy location yeah and i think that's you know part of the rub i think being downtown it, regardless whether it's the diamondbacks the suns or whatever is that is getting in and out of there right and sometimes it can get a little bit of deterrent i mean you're going we're going to a facility out there that has 65,000 people that go to the cardinal games right so we've got massive amounts of parking and easy to get to and for us if we have you know 10 to 15,000 people in the arena it's easy to get to and obviously all of the shops and the restaurants are all one spot and and I've been out there tons of times going to Cardinal games and uh, over the years or concerts and it's been a great facility and we're pretty excited about it and you know with the uh, the hockey team gone uh, now that's really just an event center and so we're gonna be you know we're gonna be kind of front and center yeah it's gonna be great for uh, everybody involved uh, just a new way of looking at the Arizona Rattlers and in that West Valley corridor. Desert Diamond Arena uh, kind of holds a special place for the Arizona Rattlers. That is where the Rattlers established their franchise and the league's uh, uh, record attendance back in 2016. So you're going into a place that the fans are kind of familiar with. Yeah, no question. And we've, we've had a couple of arena bowls out there. And, um, you know, we couldn't get the dates downtown, which is fine. We ended up doing it out there. But, you know, everybody traveled and everybody traveled out there and, and besides that i think we're going to pick up a lot of demographic out there on the west side too that may not want to come to downtown and um, you know our deal is exciting you know it's opposite time of football so we start in march and end in july or august and um you know the, the cardinal fans that live out that way uh will have an opportunity to come the people that live in the east valley are still going to come out because it's relatively easy to get around the corner to get up there and go to the game so again we're excited about it yeah it makes the uh the ingress and the egress is going to be well what you would expect when you go out to that part of town. So the football capital, okay? You've got the uh, Cardinals right across the street. Uh, you've, got, you, you've got a location where fans across the state are used to uh, seeing, well, seeing football. And you get that opposite feel now, right? The Cardinals have you covered in the fall and in the wintertime. And you've got the Arizona Rattlers in the spring and the summer. Yeah, and I think that's that's what it is. I think we're now the football capital out there on the yeah. west side, and we're excited about the relationship out there. And I can tell you that during the process of the negotiations, this is, this is a little bit late coming out with the video, but um, they've been incredible to work with. Um, incredible about the requests that we want, the things that we need for us to be successful from a marketing perspective and an activity perspective and a fan perspective. And um, we're just really super excited about it. So you got the new venue, but the fans are going to be interested in what's going on with the team in the offseason. And I know that transactions have taken place. You know, this is all coming off of what would be, for most teams in the league, a very successful year. Uh, the Rattlers began the 2023 campaign, uh, dinged up, injured, a little bit of a slow start to the season, which culminated with a, a league-best eight-game winning streak at the end of the year. You, you got the... Uh, 
They're the top seed for the conference going into the playoffs. It was a great finish for the team, albeit not the kind of finish you wanted at the end. But you come off another great year, another trip to the playoffs. What can the, the fans expect and what's going on offseason-wise with the team? Well, for, for me and for Kevin, right, and for our fans, I mean, the reality of it is not successful season for us unless we get the hardware. And we haven't gotten the hardware for a while. Um, and I would not be surprised if this happened to be one of the years we're going to get it. So we've, we've, we're making some changes, we're making some moves. Um, and Kevin and his team behind the scenes have done a really good job of, of putting together the roster. And so that's all happening as we speak. Um, so we're excited about what's going to happen in, in, in the season. And it's all about, uh, it's all about continuing to build upon a, a brand that's been a legacy brand in the state of Arizona for so many years for three decades a team that's won more professional championships than any other professional sports team in the state I know you're proud of that and and uh, and the building on the brand that's all a part of what this move is about right? it is you know we just came off as you know we just came off our 30th year right with 30 years downtown I went to the very first game in 1992 um, so we're hoping that the next 30 you know we can be out west well, Ron, congratulations to you and the Rattlers on the move. Uh, this is exciting for the fans. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that.